Hi guys, it's Joe and you're watching metrophone.co.uk. Now, having taken a look at the Microsoft Lumia 640, which we loved, we're now gonna take a quick look at the Microsoft Lumia 535, a super budget handset where they've removed all remnants of Nokia and given it the full Microsoft treatment. But how have they done? Let's take a closer look. First up, it's plastic, fun, funky, and unashamedly colorful. The rear plastic shell comes off easily to access the battery and the micro SD slot for extra storage and the SIM card. Now the UK has a single SIM version, although there are dual SIMs available globally. Fortunately, the colored backs are easily replaceable if dropped or boredom sets in. And yes, you will leave your prints all over it, but a quick rub on your jeans and you're on your way again. This applies to the screen as well, being Gorilla Glass 3, you'll be using and wiping it clean all day long. This is in the main a touchscreen phone, so buttons are few and far between, reminding us that it's fun and durable. Not like your dad's car that you can't touch anything, this phone is access all areas. The Lumia 535 has an impressive 5 inch display and a resolution of 960 by 540 and the Gorilla Glass 3 leaves us with a standard array of colours that are good enough but will not have even average gamers frothing at the mouth. Photographs look okay too and so do web browsing colours but it is a low budget phone so you really do get what you pay for. It's not very responsive either and can leave you repeatedly tapping and prodding before you do get some action out of it. Obviously keeping costs low and high tech screens that cope with various lighting environments being of a premium, you will find you need to step away from the sunlight to see the screen as it is a bit reflective. But maybe all this will get you outside smelling the roses rather than taking photos of them. Windows 8.1 is provided here as with all of their smartphones and if you're familiar with the territory it will take no time at all for you to work it out. It gives you OneDrive and the full Microsoft Office suite for you to use if you can't get to a PC and you can also customise your tiles for a fully personalised layout while Action Centre keeps you abreast of all your notifications so you don't miss a thing even though it is very very simple to use. You also get Cortana which is Microsoft's version of Siri and is easy, fun and reliable to use. It's launched from home or via the search key and here are the services it can offer. It can work out a song and artist for you just like Shazam, gives you the latest news stories and you can have a chat with Cortana by clicking the microphone. She can set alarms, reminders and no matter where you are she can link in with your maps so she'll know just how to find you if you're lost. After a while you completely forget you're chatting to your phone and there's no dip in quality between the 535 version and the more expensive Microsoft handset. You also get DataSense, which tracks all of your data usage so you can make sure you're not overrunning on contracts and you can see where your usage leaks actually are. You get Battery Saver, which is a clever little device that lets you know which apps run your battery time down the quickest so you can think twice before using them. All in all, this phone is intuitive and easy to use and we think it's great. As with its siblings, the Windows 8.1 isn't short on decent specs for this affordable package and we're pleasantly surprised once again. You get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 200 processor, 8 gigs of internal storage that can be expanded and 1 gig of RAM. And although Windows are still not providing anywhere near the same level of apps as Apple and Android, they still have Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook and Twitter, so for your money, not bad at all. However, the apps themselves aren't really of the same quality. They also keep costs low with 3G rather than 4G, and this would be plenty for some as it doesn't have the power anyway for high film viewing, things like that. However, one sticking point is the fact that you're compatible with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks only, so you will be limited and web pages can take a bit of time to load. Still, performance is smooth and Microsoft know what they're doing when it comes to performance versus budget. You do glide around applications and software, proving that they do make sure the software works effectively. Well, it's no surprise that we have a wide-angled front camera basically meaning you can get even more people in your selfie. This is something that's happening a lot more with recent releases. Both the front and rear lenses have five megapixel sensors and the selfie settings again let you play around with your beauty so you can improve on your looks before posting them to social networking sites. Handy. Plus add the Lumia camera app and you have more control over both cameras and video allowing you to adjust more to the settings such as ISO. Having said that, as the original lens isn't that good, photo geeks will feel that adjusting the settings is a bit pointless at this price range. Now, although the shots will pass for you and your mates, this will not win you any prizes, but point and shoot, that's what it's all about, and it's loads of fun. Unfortunately, the video limitations are obvious in the 480p at 30 frames per second, and with no stabilization whatsoever, they do look a bit amateurish. 
We thought the battery was okay considering and it did manage to last an entire day. Now obviously if you play excessive games and films then you will find it drains pretty quickly, around 40% in an hour. There is a battery saver app which we mentioned earlier which will help you work out the best routine to save power. The Microsoft Lumia 535 is a fun, colourful, smooth running and durable Microsoft smartphone that again you wouldn't mind getting a bump or two and there's a lot to love in this starter smartphone.